Hey guys, so I've seen literally no one on YouTube post this, even though this came out yesterday, so I thought I'd just do it myself. So, this is how to um, install the inside out body tracking beta for Quest 3. I don't have a Pico, so I can't speak for that or the Vive, so it won't work on Quest 2 and Quest 1 from what I've gathered. So, um, yeah, Quest 3 only for this body tracking stuff. So just a quick note on what this is and how it works for the people that don't know. So last year um, Meta released an update which basically allowed the Quest 3 to use the cameras on the underside of the headset to kind of look at your body and uh, essentially track it. Um, it won't do your legs but you can see in this lovely handy diagram here. It will track your elbows, it will track your hip, your shoulders. Um, and obviously adding a hip tracker to three point tracking improves it a lot. And yeah, there you go, it's doing the elbows quite nicely there. What this new virtual desktop uh, beta does is it takes this data from the Quest 3 headset and sends it through virtual desktop to Steam VR. And then using that uh, information, it will create Vive trackers um, and then obviously move the Vive trackers depending on the information it's receiving so yeah it works it works pretty well so to start off you're gonna to want to go to the uh, virtual desktop um, discord group thing um, and then head over to the announcements and then the instructions are pretty straightforward here but I mean I'll just go through it anyway so first of all you're gonna to want to subscribe to the to the beta on the on the quest website here and there should be a big join button here so click join make sure you're logged in through Meta and all that. Um, then once you've joined, you should be able to. Uh, an update will come up on your Quest, and you just install that update um, for the virtual desktop app. And then next, uh, you're going to want to download the beta streamer app. So obviously, you know the streamer app that lives in there. Download that. You don't have to uninstall the previous one. It will just install over the top of your previous one. So. Download that, install that, follow the instructions, very straightforward. And once you've done that, um, you're pretty much done. So, very straightforward, very easy. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna hop into, hop on the quest and uh, show you a demo. Here we are, in virtual desktop. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do when you turn on your quest, after doing all the previous steps, is uh, go to your library, go to your app launcher. So you wanna click these three dots and you should see an update button come up here. So click that, be patient, wait for it to update. And then once that's done, you can launch the app. Um, and the first thing you do after you obviously connect to your PC is make sure that in the streaming settings here that you have these three boxes checked. So the first one is forward tracking data to PC and then emulate Steam VR Vive trackers and emulate index controllers. You can uh, load up into uh, Steam VR, so you can launch Steam VR. And here we are in Steam VR. So you notice I have index controllers in front of me. And you notice that there are these little trackers kind of following my body here. So just a couple things before we get into it. Um, I've read that some people have had problems with either long sleeve clothing, baggy clothing, or dim lighting. So if you have any tracking problems, um, turn up your lights and maybe consider switching to shorts and a t-shirt. Um, and the second thing is, if you notice the tracking gets misaligned or gets a bit wonky, it's really easy to reset it or recalibrate it. And all you have to do is you press the Oculus button on your right controller or quest button I guess. Uh, just press it and then when the menu comes up press it again and that's it simple as and I'll just do it again. Obviously make sure you're standing up when you do this and there you go that's that's it. And so now I'll hop into VR chat because I know that's what uh, that's what you're here for that's why you've got that's why you're excited for this is for VR chat so I'll demo that for you. So we're in it's worth noting that it won't work straight away. Let me just head over to this mirror. OK, 
because obviously you guys are soon to be mirror dwellers on this app so here we go let's turn on the body tracking so i'm going to want to press the open the menu here and you should straight away see calibrate fbt come up there click that do the old tipos thing stand up nice and straight and then press both triggers like that and there we go so I've noticed my feet are in the ground right now, so my height might not be 100% correct. Yeah, there we go, that's better. So yeah, you'll notice I can kind of, if I move my shoulders and keep my head still, it tracks it quite nicely. And if I move my head, keep my shoulders still, you can see my body so completely still, which is very nice. And so one thing I've noticed is if you sit down, well, first of all, this is me squatting, right? Well, that's kind of right. If I put my bum on the ground, sometimes it takes a while to notice you're sat down and it will kind of fold up your legs. Um, but eventually it will just kind of recognize it and then your legs will slowly drift out in front of you. <laughs> it can be kind of ominous, but yeah, it picks up eventually. And it's a whole lot better than, you know, what it is before. So I can, you know, I can move my head like this. And you can see my body staying pretty much straight. It's floating around a tiny bit, but honestly, it's better than, you know, moving completely like this. So, yeah. And just to show you what lying down looks like. Again, it kind of takes a while to notice that you're lying down, but when it does... The legs kind of drift out as they are now. So if you're in bed, this is kind of what you look like. So yeah, you can uh, you can be mirror dwellers next to those full body tracking people, and no one will notice. They'll think that you have it too. Wow. <laughs> I'll show you some other movements. So if I lean forward like this, you'll see my body kind of stays still. And yeah, quite nice. Whereas before, without the tracking, your legs just kind of move forwards and you just end up kind of doing this weird sit down squat thing. If I lean backwards as well, you'll see my body kind of stays forwards, my bum goes forwards a bit. And I can kind of go like that. Quite nice. Now it doesn't it doesn't let you shake your hips very well. It kind of it kind of works, but not really. So. If you're expecting to shake your bum in someone's face using this, you're going to be disappointed, so don't do that. Oh, another thing as well, walking. So, the walking is good, but not perfect. So if I kind of take a step forwards now with my right foot, you'll see it just kind of, it, it, it almost looks natural, but not quite. It's, it's not really f tracking your legs, so it's it's doing its best. But again, and I keep saying this, it is better than nothing. So, you know, I can do a side step like this. One, two, one, two, one, two. And, you know, it kind of gets it. Oh, finger tracking. So, it's all right. It's good. It works, but you can't use it while you know, holding your controllers, so obviously you can't move around and wow your fingers at the same time. So, it's good if you're like having a conversation with someone and you put your controllers down and then you can use your natural expressions with your hands to communicate. So, to switch over to your hands, um, what you want to do is you want to tap your controllers lightly together, just kind of like a tap tap, like this. And then, when you put them down, as you can see, my hands are being tracked. So, it's my, well, I'm not very good at flexing my pinky, but it's my fourth finger, my third, my index. You notice the thumb doesn't really track properly, but that might just be due to the avatar. If I do a thumbs up here, it doesn't really, doesn't really pick it up. But you know, the other, the other fingers. See, it's, cut, it's a little bit glitchy, a little bit, but still pretty cool and it still works good enough and waggle my fingers about Ooh. 
it is index controller emulation at the end of the day. It's not native, natively tracking your hands. So, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoy this. Hope this helped. Um, and yeah, enjoy the the body tracking. See ya.